Hello everybody, Imminent Storm here, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3, our Germany tutorial playthrough. So, uh, last episode, what we did is a couple of things here. We, um, we basically occupied the Netherlands. Um, we weren't able to enforce a, a conquer event on them because um, they have too many colonial holdings and not enough, uh, I couldn't get enough victory points to, to conquer them. Um, we also launched a major offensive in the north of France. Um, we got a big encirclement uh, with a whole bunch of their um, their divisions uh, captured here, or trapped in this pocket, and we also have uh, Paris in there. So uh, what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to reduce that pocket and uh, occupy Paris, and then we'll we'll see what we can do from there. Um, it does look like a few units managed to escape, but, I mean, at this point, once these are destroyed, they just have a pitiful uh, army left. Won't, won't have much left to, to fight me with. Alright, so, um, first thing I want to do, I'll just do a quick look around, take a look at the fleet. Fleet's actually back up to some decent strength. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to send them back out there again. Um, because they've actually been having some success against the uh, British and French fleets. Um, so we'll, we'll try and keep that up. Um, one other thing I wanted to do is... I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to need these air force... These air units much anymore. So I'm going to uh, rebase them all over here. And reorganize them, reorganize them again. And... Uh, get ready to, to do some different things with, with the Air Force there. Okay. Um, and actually, do we have any more interceptors being produced? No. So actually, I want to put some more interceptors in here. What, what a bunch of those. Um... Uh, we'll just leave them. We'll leave them down there for the moment. Okay, let's, let's just get the time started here, and let's see what we can do to begin reducing this pocket. Uh, we we'll probably just want to push this way. Oh, these guys are under attack, but we have an armored division moving in, so that's going to be fine. Um, And, and that should be okay. So let's get this uh, assault started. So what we're going to want to do is we want to begin... Oh, here we go. Our fleet has encountered the French Navy. Let's see what happens. Nothing's happening. Well, looks like they just kind of engaged, but nothing really became of it. Came of it. Oh, they lost their attack on me. Okay, they're trying to break out. Let's see if they can swing some units in there. Alright, let's get... Let's get these these units attacking on all fronts. So we're gonna we're gonna attack on all fronts here. We're just gonna take everything we've got and and hit them. Everything we've got and just hit them from every single flank. Uh, you hit them from there, you hit them there, and you hit them there. Okay. So, there we go. Alright, so that pocket's now starting to get reduced. 
Battle of Versailles. Okay, so yep, all right, they're they're falling back. I'm gonna try and drive them to Paris, and then wipe them all out in Paris. So. We're winning. We're winning pretty good. Actually, one thing I want to look at is I want to look at what our current surrender progress is. It's only 40%, but um, Paris is worth 30 victory points. So when that falls, that, that'll probably jump up quite a bit. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go political map mode. Political map mode there. Um, yep. Falling back. Uh, let's see if I can actually support that attack there to try to get this armored division across the river. And let's see, while that's all moving, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this army. This whole army, and I'm going to start to redeploy them over here um, near the border with Denmark, because Denmark's nest on, eh, next on my hit list, so I'm good and prepared to just to knock them out. Uh, Alright, we've gained another hostile navy. This is a British navy with the HMS Furious and the HMS Nelson in it. Uh, let's see how that goes. Uh, we're giving them a good beating. And it looks like they're retreating. So yeah, they're out of combat range. Uh, Nuremberg and Leipzig are taking some pounding, but they're doing okay. Graspy's taking some hits. Yep, we sunk the Nelson and the sunk the Effingham. Alright, Supply Organization Advance, Artillery Research Advance, Second Battle of Versailles. Is that? No, that's Vernon. Okay, so... Yeah, all these guys now need rest. And we're up, we're up. We're gonna squeeze this down. Let's see if we can get things rolling a little bit quicker here. Oh, they're trying to attack us again, they're trying to break out. But yeah, we've got we've got three motorized infantry divisions there. They're not gonna be able to break out of that. Yep, they're just losing organization. like we reduced that. So let's just go ahead and hit them. Hit them with all of this. And we're going to try and squeeze this stack down in the Paris. Uh, let's actually start to spread these guys out along this front. This unit up. Okay, yep, so they're redeploying over there. Take all these and we're just gonna merge them up. Oh, he's got way far away from his command structure. So his command structure needs to, needs to get moving over here somewhere. Oh, these guys too. These guys need to move. Oh, there's a there's an armored division kind of sneaking around over there. Let's move that over there. Yeah, 
they're still trying to you know attack us and either break in or break out I could do eh, no we're not gonna worry about that just yet okay so we have Paris completely surrounded here so let's actually take just take everything we've got and hit Paris as hard as we can. Okay, alright, well, our fleet's engaged again with another British fleet. HMS Malaya, HMS Valiant, and the HMS Hood. Alright, let's see what happens here. Taking some hits. We lost the destroyer squadron, and so did the day, so kind of an even trade there. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to take... Oh, no, they're too far away. Um, well, let's rebase them forward and just have them hit. Hit ground attack there. Bomb Paris. They're running out of organization, their units are starting to fall out. We won the Battle of Paris, and we have taken Paris. Alright. So let's see what that did to the... the surrender progress. Yep, now it's up to 80%. Okay. So where are some nice victory points to try to take? Okay, so we've got a couple of here. Two points, three points, two points, two points... I probably need to take this whole section of the country. Okay, so let's so let's actually start advancing out here a bit. Start bringing all our armor up forward. Also, yeah, all of our armor, start bringing our armor forward, motorized infantry, motorized infantry. I uh, want to bring this whole infantry corps forward. Okay, oh, we've engaged another navy. This one has a couple of aircraft carriers in it, the Glorious and the Courageous. This one might give us some trouble. Ooh. Yep. Oh, they lost to Cumberland, but we are banged up bad, so we need to get to a friendly port. Um, let's port them in Amsterdam. It's right there. Okay. Okay, so we're going to look back at the victory points here. Uh, Khan is going to get taken. Um, we're going to... I guess we're going to attack them here and here. set up a defensive line along this river. Uh, let's, let's just get the, get the game moving a little bit. So I'd really like to f complete the conquest of France here. So what I want to do is 
looking at the victory point map mode, I want to basically extend a line along here, along this river, and and basically take all of this section of the country, because that should hopefully have enough victory points in it to get the surrender progress to hit 100%. So, move that forward. I'm going to move that guy in there. And attack there, attack there. Attack these guys here. Winning battles left and right here. Get our tanks distributed out. Let's bring our infantry forward. Bring our infantry down. Actually, let's bring that guy down there. Oh, and this guy, let's bring him there. Reinforce the flank. Right. So we need to keep keep these units moving with the front. So I'm going to take him and just move him there. And take these guys. And just take him. Attack him there. Attack. Attack like that. There isn't enough units. They don't have enough units over here to actually hold the line. So, you know, we can just basically take a lot of this territory with impunity. Probably won't be able to keep up with the front at all, but it's fine. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, they, they're not ready to move yet. 66, 65 hours. Uh, that's a lot, of, a lot of time to wait. Right, we're going to figure out what we're going to do with these guys later. guy's moving out there. That guy's moving in there. Uh, this guy... Let's just go ahead and attack that guy there. Yep, swing out. Let's see if we can get these infantry pushing to the front. See if I can swing that infantry up in the Cherbourg. Uh, how are we doing? How are we doing? Oh, we hit 100%. So, as soon as the day takes over, we should get the event. Yep, we in four ants. 
Okay. All right, and we've implemented the Vichy regime. So the Vichy regime is going to manage the southern half of France and all of the French colonies. Okay, so there we go. France has fallen. Okay, so we got this big old army here, this whole army here, and an impending war with the Soviet Union to deal with. So we're going to have to start getting prepared for that. All right. Well, actually, one of the things I want to do here is now with this army here, and I don't have any distractions. Well, actually, let me just grab the theater. Oh, there's the army group. Okay, the third. Let's go to the first army. And let's bring the first army back. The second army. Let's bring the second army over here. And the fifth army. Let's bring that down here. And the third army. All right, United Kingdom has decided their finest hour. Okay, so they got some some bonus there. Okay, so let's get those guys moving. And the fourth army is up there. Okay, so we're going to reorganize. Um, all right, so the the French government in exile in in Britain still wants to fight, but they probably won't get an opportunity to. So, all right, what we want to do is let's pause this up for a moment. I want to build a set of ins uh, interceptor squadrons that are going to defend my home territory from. Uh, strategic bomber attack from Britain. So, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have 10 interceptor squadrons. Alright, so that's two groups of three. We'll split these guys out. Two groups of three. And we'll split this guy again. Create a new unit. We'll bring out the other four interceptors. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take these uh, tactical bombers and I'm going to move them over here to the Polish front because they're going to have to get ready for, for Russia. And then what I want to do is I want to decide where I want to put these. Okay, so we have this air wing here. I want to put them so they can intercept the bombers before they get to our industrial centers, but not so close that they end up flying missions over Britain, because then they'll just get torn to pieces. So, let's put one squadron up here. What we're going to do is we're going to tell him to air intercept at maximum range. I'm going to take another air wing. I'm going to move them here. I'm also going to tell them to air intercept at maximum range. I'm going to take this interceptor squadron. Uh, let's go ahead and put them up there. them to air intercept at maximum range. So we should now have, you know, three interceptor squadrons that any um, British strategic bombers that fly across the channel and try to hit the industrial centers here, um, we're going to get attacked. Okay, so actually, what have we finished production here? Oh, we got the Admiral Hipper and the Blucher. Alright, so let's put them down. 
and get them added to the fleet. Okay. Uh, how's the production on the rest of our navy going? Why is our supply so low? Okay, so... Okay, so it looks like some of our light cruisers are going to be done soon. Some of our transports are going to be done soon. Uh, Sharnhorst and the Nice and Owl are... Still going to take a while. Oh, it's... Uh, let's see, it's February of 1940. Something doesn't make sense about that. Oh, it's February. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking there. So, yeah, they're going to take almost the rest of this year to finish. Hmm. Okay, so... Alright, we've got our heavy armored divisions under production now. Yeah, these. Oh, no, no, no. We want these down to the bottom. Transport planes are low priority. We definitely want to get them out at some point, but we have more important things to do at the moment. Alright, oh, then the Prince Eugen is out. I'm not sure I pronounced that right at all. Okay, so well, we still have some time here. Oh, and there's the Stuttgart. Add that guy in. We're probably gonna have to start breaking off with another fleet here at some point. Um, we probably don't need this many guys here to take out Denmark. But, that's what we got, so that's what we're going to use. Let them move into position here. Oh, we got probably another ship. Oh, there's a set of transports. Okay. So I'm going to start putting the transports in a different port. Yes, I am immobilizing. Um, and let's actually take a look at what might be happening elsewhere in the world. Um, okay, so when we defeated France, France ended up giving, um, basically French Indochina, which is uh, modern-day Vietnam, um, to Japan. So, Japan now has control of that. So Japan did a little invasion here in the Hong Kong region. And it doesn't look like Japan has started attacking anything else yet. Okay, so. Alright, there's the Stetton. Okay. And now we're probably ready for this. Alright, and I'm not even worried that worried about this war, so. We're just going to go ahead and I'm going to just declare war straight away on Denmark. And... We're just going to push into their territory. With everything we have. Because they don't really have anything uh, that can stop us. Let's grab one of these other cores, and I'm just going to move the entire core over here. And this whole core, you're going to move like, over there. I'm not going to have to really micromanage much here, because um, they don't really have anything that is capable of resisting me, so. Oh, mobile Warfare Advance. Oh, and actually, things are 1940. Alright, well, 
Actually, this is going to be a good place to go ahead and stop. Uh, we completed our conquest of France. We've started um, a, a war up with Denmark. And so next time what we'll do is we're going to need to get our armies reorganized. We're going to need to finish this off. And we're going to need to go through our technology. Just kind of do a bunch of little housekeeping things um, as we start to get ready to eventually go to war with the Soviet Union. Alright, well, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.